What's going on guys, Boy Pozzo here and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on Element 3D, 3D text within Call of Duty Cinematic. So let's get right into it. Basically I've got the uh, clip here which is off uh, Raid on Black Ops 2. Most of you guys will know it so yeah uh, we might trim it down a little bit just to make it a lot easier and quicker when we get through this. So what you want to do is drag this onto uh, New Comp which is this here. Uh, and basically you want to get to about halfway and then press B and N on the keyboard and then we're just going to quickly render out um, a little picture uh, you'll understand what this will be um, when we get into it to the element 3D it will all make sense so you want to save it as JPEG sequence uh, then save it to wherever you want so I'm just going to replace this uh, yes, replace it and render. Won't take too long. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to import this back in. Uh, and it is this one. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to plunk that there. And what this is is just a still image of um, this part thing here. So um, we just want to minimize that. Well, hide it. And then what we need to do is we need to right click on the actual footage itself and then go on to track camera. Uh, once it's tracking like this, um, we will quickly go ahead and go new solid and we'll call this element. Because this is what we're going to put the element 3D on. So we'll put that onto the solid, obviously searching the uh, effects there. Uh, now we want to make a text. So um, uh, we'll just go 3D text. Simple, easy, and what you can do now is you can change the font to whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to keep it as the default to make it nice and easy. Uh, then I'm just going to minimize that. Also, guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to um, add in your own logo. So you want to go to this pen tool up here, add your logo in, and you just want to trace around it. So I'm just going to quickly go um, over this. Not going as neat as I can, but it's only a little tutorial. You get the gist of what I am doing. So if you want to get this any neater, just go a lot slower, get each edge in, use as many keyframes or whatever they're called as you want. Uh, let's quickly get through this. Duh. 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 Okay. So that's what we got. We got that there. So um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to minimize that, move it underneath. We're going to go onto the element um, 3D layer, and then we're going to go to custom layers. Uh, this will bring up uh, custom text and masks. So we've just done. Uh, the 3D text, we need to put that on there, and we also want to put the logo on there. And then uh, minimize that, and then we want to go on to the uh, texture, which is where the um, picture that we rendered out goes in. Um, then what we need to do is we need to go on to the cinematic itself, the footage, and then um, all these very nice little things will pop up. If um, not very many pop up, you can go into the advanced and then detail analysis. So um, yeah, what we want to do is we want to um, just select one nice place that's possibly on the screen through throughout the whole of the um, cinematic. So at the moment, it seems like these two walls are fairly in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, get that, mask that there. As you can see, it's on the wall. I'm just going to make a right click, create solid and camera. And as you can see now, that if I just change down this, put it down to a third, won't be as nice, but you can see it's tracked onto the wall. Nice and easy. Uh, then what we want to do is uh, we just want to delete that solid. We've made the camera. We don't need anything else. Uh, now we want to go into element itself, so the scene setup. Go into that, um, we're just going to extrude, which brings up the text. 
and then we want to go into environment go on to that and then that which is the um, picture that we took and as you'll see when we add on like a chrome or reflective material it'll show the reflections off that picture which is what we want um, so now I'm going to add in a material I'm just going to add on a chrome as you can see it's reflecting some stuff uh, you can add on the environment and then uh, yeah but it doesn't really make any difference it's still there so uh, just click that if you want it or click it off if you don't want it uh, I'm just going to add in to like a little bit of a bevel so I'm just going to duplicate this layer here uh, I'm going to change this to be uh, a darker color so um, I'm just going to go on to my Pro Shaders 2, which is off Video Kai Pilot as well. Very good. A um, few presets in here, good materials, uh, textures and stuff like that. So we're just going to change that to that. As you'll see, it's just covered up the chrome, which we will sort out now. If we change the extrude to 0.9, which is down here, the bevel is. And then we want to uh, expand the edges outwards. And as you'll see now, is it will extrude it out more. So we don't want it too much to overlap. So we'll have it about 0.7. Why not? And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change down um, the color of the chrome and the uh, intensity of the reflection to 60. And then change the color to white. Just so it gives it like a... Like a oh like a, a metal white silver kind of texture in a way which is quite cool and then um, well we have now got the uh, text there so what we want to do is we just want to extrude again actually we'll just go off that delete that and then uh, we'll right click in here and we'll make a new uh, new group uh, change that to 2 and we'll extrude that in there and then you want to Come onto this extrude model and change the um, custom path to two, and then what it'll do is it'll bring in this, nice and easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it from being uh, black at the front to white at the front and a black kind of uh, silver at the back. And so we got this. I'm just going to change this to go back to 0.9. Extrude it out to about there, and then we want to. Uh, we're just going to go to the top. We're just going to have materials. We're just going to add on a shine. Oh, not that one. We want the shiny. Okay, yes. And then we want to add in, we'll add the chrome onto there, and we'll add. Um, we just need to bevel this up a bit more. Uh, yeah, we really like that. I'm going to change that to more of a whitey kind of color. So we just change the reflection down to, we'll change it to 50. Change the color to white. There you go. I might just change the shiny to less reflective. So let's change that down to 100. See what that looks like. Yeah, it looks fairly decent. So we've now got the, um, the logo in the um group uh, group two and the um text in group one so you can obviously change all of it around in there and as you can see we've got the text here already which is nice and tracked in there obviously it's in between all of it well, all the skype messages coming up uh now what we want to come in to is uh we'll go group one and we'll just um, enable it, unenable it, and then go into group two. So we've only just got this on now. Uh, go into particle, and then we want to change it down the um, Z space. So it's just so it looks like it's in that part. So we need to rotate this a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Change it to about there, I reckon. Let's have a look if that looks all right. Maybe turn it a little bit more. Yep, okay. That's good enough for me. I'm just going to change the size of it. Make it up to about there. Obviously, you guys can change it to however you guys like. 
Let's change that to full. That's what it looks like so far within the um, text. Obviously, you'll have to mask down this, which I'll show you in a different tutorial. Uh, if you want me to, just put in a comment section. Uh, put a comment down in the section if you want to see that. Um, and yeah, so um, we got that text in already. So we'll just minimize these. Boom, and then we'll enable this. And what we can do is we can go into group two if we want to, go into the particle, on the particle in group one, and then we can just copy the uh, Z space, put that there, and then that'll be in there like that. And then we can go onto the rotation. And what is it on the other one? It is 40 on the Y. So it's, uh, oh, is it minus, minus 40? There we go. And we can bring it forward in Z space. So like that. I'm just going to change down this, turn it down to half. Move it all the way to the end. And I'm just going to put a bit of a rotating. Like that. There we go. Okay. And then move that across so it's in the middle. Oh, stop. Wrong one. There you go. I'm just going to change down the size a little bit. Change it down to see what seven's like. Uh, change it to eight. Yeah, all right, eight's good enough. So there you go, guys. We have the text and logo in the um, actual cinematic. And what you need to do now is basically add in a color correction. Um, you can change it around by going into uh, here and then adding in like a sharpen, a blur, uh, color correction. You can add in the curves, uh, go like that. And this will like lighten it up, darken it, change the color of it. Uh, you can lighten it up. I tend to uh, just lighten it up a tad and then. Uh, change this around to whatever suits the background so it's kind of like a grey brown kind of colour in a way with a tint of blue so I just mess around with that you won't want any reds uh, no greens but a bit of blue a bit of blue and we'll change we'll change a bit of green all you gotta do is just mess around guys but we'll just leave that for the time being I'll let you guys uh go ahead and mess around with that and yeah hopefully this tutorial has been uh, useful to you and um, if you want any more tutorials like this in the future just be sure to uh, subscribe like the video and comment in the section below what you want to see and um, hopefully I'll get them done for you and yeah um, peace guys <laughs>